Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me today on my first Paint With Me video. My name is Miss Crochet and Coffee. And as you can see today, I am working on the diamond painting that my dad was so gracious to send to me to do for him. Um, it's called Brave Eagle. He got it off Amazon. I would link it if I could find it. Maybe I'll get him to send me the link so that I can actually tag it below if you like it. It is a partial. The, the key isn't very well done. I don't want to be like mean about it, but there's a couple of symbols that I can't make out. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, so let's see, what's been going on? I mean, I just made a video yesterday, so I'm pretty sure you already know for the most part. Um, oh, I can tell you about what happened with my Amazon stuff. So if you watched my video yesterday, you heard me going on and on and on about um, my desk. I just got this new drawing table desk uh, yesterday. And there is like a whole big mess. If you want to hear that story, watch my last video. It's a little long, bear through it. You get to know me and I'm kind of funny. So, sorry, if you hear that noise, that is my one of my like Glade air fresheners that keeps going off. So, I got my drawing table set up and yesterday I got my lazy arm for my phone so that I can do paint with me videos and crochet with me videos and such things, which I give people who do this mad props because I didn't realize how hard it was to actually do this while you're like, essentially you're sitting behind your phone recording it and having to like look around your phone to do this. So mad props to everyone who does these because this is a lot harder than it looks. Anywho, my Amazon story. So, like I said, if you heard me go on and on yesterday, uh, which I will apologize now, I was testing my phone to see how long I can record for. I just got a brand new phone uh, on Friday, so uh, I knew how long my iPhone could record for, but this one I don't know, so I want I needed to test that out. So I do apologize for it abruptly just stopping and for what seemed like mid-sentence. Essentially, it was mid-sentence, but that's all right. You stuck through it. Congratulations. We are now on video number three. So yeah, so Amazon. I ordered the desk from Amazon. It came damaged. My husband had to like, you know, man it up and like do stuff to it to get it to stay together. And then of course, again, if you watched yesterday, you would have heard about me and my love of duct tape. Um, so then Amazon, I let them know that, you know, it, it came, it was broken. My husband's going to fix it because I don't want to go through the, this thing is heavy. Okay. Like it's not, it's big. So I didn't want to go through the whole ordeal of going and lugging it out to my car, driving it to the post office, putting it in the box, getting it, you know, shipped back to them and then waiting three to five business days for them to decide to put my money back in my account so I can buy something else that isn't going to come broken. So I just decided to keep it and the guy said he would give me a $50 credit on Amazon. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, that's pretty cool. Essentially, you got that desk for free. No, I paid 50 bucks for it because I wanted the drawer that came with it so that I could use the drawer for when I diamond paint and stuff. I did not get it for free and this is why. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to get a refund back from Amazon without having to return the item that you purchased. Because what they do is they give you what's called a promotion. You get a promotional discount. And I know what you might be asking. Well, what's the difference? Well, let me explain it to you. Because it wasn't explained to me. And I'm pretty sure when my husband comes home today and he sees that I spent a couple of bucks out of the account, he's not going to be very happy. Seeing as how I had a credit for something that, you know, I thought I had a credit for and I didn't. So the guy said he was going to give me a $50 promotion for my item coming damaged. Because like I said, if you want to hear that story, watch the last video. Anyways. And so I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, there's a couple of other diamond paintings I want. And since I have gotten them off, you know, Amazon before. 
What's the difference now, right? Right. Well, I was wrong. With the promotional, sorry, I'm shaking my beads up to get them to lay flat for me so I can dye and paint. With the promotional discount, or I guess promotion that he gave me, you get, like I got $50, which sounds awesome, right? Right. Because who doesn't want $50? But this is where they get you. He gave me the promotion for 50 bucks, right? He had to split it up into two days. He couldn't give me the whole $50 on one day. Which, you know, that's fine. It's not like I'm going to rush on there and buy up $50 worth of stuff anyways. I ain't rich like that. I ain't got time for that. No, 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 no. I got to, like, search and research stuff before I buy it. Like, it's, I'm pretty sure other people are like that, too. Like, you got to look into stuff before you buy. You just can't go and sporadically just buy stuff, like, all willy-nilly. I don't like to buy stuff all willy-nilly. Now, I have been known to do so, but I don't like to. Just sometimes you get super excited about something and then you just do it and you're just like, oh God, I regret that. See, most people have a problem with food. I have a problem with shopping, so I try not to do it very often. Plus, I don't really like it. Anyways. So, as he's explaining it to me, he went ahead and gave me the $50 because my desk came damaged and we had to essentially fix it to get it to work because I didn't feel like lugging it back to the post office. It came a day early and I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll forgive them for that because normally I'd be like all kinds of talking trash because I'd be mad. But, you know, it came a day early. It was a little busted. It is what it is. So he then goes on to explain to me that the promotional discount only applies to items that are sold and fulfilled by Amazon. Now, if you don't know what that means, if you go on Amazon and look, a lot of the times, Amazon will fulfill an order that is sold by a different company. Which is like 99.9% .9 of the stuff on Amazon. That other, like, 1% of stuff on Amazon is the stuff that they, they sell and ship. So as long as they sell and ship it, I can buy it. So I'm thinking, oh, well, it's Amazon. They have to have just about everything, so, like, I'll be fine. Yeah, no, I was wrong. Um, they do not have everything. Essentially, they didn't really have nothing. It was all crap. Now, for those of you who, you know, don't really know me, I don't wear makeup. I love my natural skin, and even though I have blemishes and scars, I don't care. I'm beautiful with the scars, with the blemishes. I am comfortable enough with myself that I don't want to wear makeup. I did modeling for a while when I was 18, 19, and I hated it. I hated being behind the camera, which is funny now because now I'm yet again behind the camera. But I hated being behind the camera. I hated having that spotlight on me like that. I I didn't like it. And then um, I decided that I would rather be on the other side of the camera, camera doing like pictures and stuff. And then that's how, you know, pictures started. But I'm sitting here and I'm looking through all the stuff on their Amazon. Because if you go in, on Amazon and you click in the search tab and you type in sold by, what what he said, sold by Amazon. And it'll come up and the drop down menu will come down and it'll say sold only by Amazon. So I did that. Yeah, no. I... It was just a bunch of makeup products, a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of random weird stuff. And they had like clothes and most people like, oh, well they have clothes. Yeah. The only problem is, you know, as you're learning me on this journey of crafting, I am six one. Yes. You heard that right. Like at this point, I'm starting to wonder if my mom was a tree because like I am six one. And so buying clothes is not fun for me. So where most women love shopping, I hate it. He hates it. My husband always fusses at me because, you know, he doesn't have a problem shopping. But me, on the other hand, I hate shopping. He likes shopping for, like, stupid stuff like video games and stuff. Like, clothes-wise, no. He, 
I, I essentially have to hide and throw away all his clothes to get him to shop and buy anything. Anywho, um, so yeah. So, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I can't buy clothes because for those of you who are tall, or even if you're really short, you ever go to buy something online and it looks cute online, but then you get it and you're like, uh, that is not what I wanted. Oh, geez, no. No, 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 no. So, I have learned that lesson one too many times. Yeah, it happened more than once because you think I would learn the first time. Of course not. No, that's happened quite a few times. And then I just, finally, after a few years, I gave up on trying to buy stuff online. If I can't put it on, try it on, wear it. Like I ordered a pair of pants and they came back and they were capris essentially. And they said that they were supposed to be for tall women. I'm like, must be tall dwarves because I'm six one and these aren't tall. And then you get the tall pants and then like they have to have like the saggy crotch area. It's it's a hot mess. So I I try to avoid buying clothes online. It's it's not my cup of tea. So um so I can't buy clothes. That X's out clothes. I X'd out makeup because I don't wear makeup. Um skincare products. There's one too many. Okay. At my age, I probably should worry a little bit more about my 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 skin, but I don't. Because whenever I'm not eating something I'm not supposed to be eating, my skin looks fine. I have really nice skin, actually. And all I do is wash my face every day with soap and water. I believe that they put all those chemicals in that stuff to make your face look worse so that you have to buy it more. Yeah, I'm one of those conspiracy theorist people that thinks that they're out to get you. Because makeup, I never had pimples growing up in high school I had them like on my shoulders and my back, but never on my face. It wasn't until I started modeling that I started getting them on my face. And then I realized the makeup causes that. And so I stopped wearing makeup after that. Like I would not even now, like every once in a while, you might catch me in some eyeliner. And even then it's not a whole lot. Like I might do my lashes every once in a while, but it's not like that whole like, I'm going to look up a beauty routine and like sit in the mirror for two hours and put on makeup. I, I just, I don't see the point in it. Part of it, I, I want to say part of it's probably laziness to be honest because no. So that X out skincare products. Now I just got a brand new phone and from what my husband has been ranting and raving about for a little bit of time that I was paying attention to whatever he was saying about this phone, it just came out. Like it's the Samsung Note 9. My dad saw it yesterday. And he's like, is that a TV or a tablet in your hand? I'm like, no, that's my phone. That's my new phone. Now, I had the iPhone 8 Plus. I love that phone. Great camera. Just all around good phone. But then, of course, the moment they started saying Apple's coming out with a new phone, my phone starts acting up. And I'm like, you know what? My husband was due for an upgrade. And I'm like, we have this big thing. We're big kids. If one of us gets something new, the other one wants it. So we try to do upgrades and stuff at the same time so that nobody's jealous, nobody's butthurt or anything like that. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my phone with you and we'll just get the exact same phone. So my husband and I have the exact same phone. Now, it's nice, though, because they had two different colors of the phone. At least they had two different colors in the store here. Uh, so he was ranting and raving because he got the blue one, which of course, if you've seen the commercials for the Samsung Note 9, the blue one has that weird yellow pen. Honestly, I thought it was beige. I thought the phone actually looked a lot, really cool. And he goes, it's not beige. You're colorblind. It's yellow. Oh, well, my bad. He goes, it's not even just regular yellow. It's like urine yellow. I'm like, well, that's a name for a color. Whereas I got the purple one because like most we women, I love purple. And my pen is purple. So he's been going on and on about how my pen is purple and all this. So the reason I told you what kind of phone I have is because then I go on Amazon to use that $50 certificate. Remember, I still have that $50. I'm going to use it, right? I'm going to maybe buy a new phone case. Nope. Okay, okay. Not, not a new phone case. Maybe I'll buy a screen protector. Nope. All right, no screen protector, no phone case. Maybe I'll buy a USB cord for it because, you know, when you get new phones, you get one USB cord. And if you're anything like me, I, I am rough on phones. Like, 
especially now with videos and editing and all that other fun jazz. Like I'm not gonna I'm I'm gonna try not to do a lot of editing editing in my videos because you're not coming to see an edited perfect you know thing. If you if you're coming to my channel to see perfection, you have come to the wrong place. Just click off right now because I am not perfect. I will not be doing things perfect. You will see me cut in corners. I know I shouldn't do it, but we're not going to focus on that right now. But I'm not perfect. So, I, I I mean, I am a Virgo, so they say that Virgos are supposed to be perfectionists, but I'm not, I'm not perfect. And I just... Sorry, I'm trying to get my beads out of this bag so I can start my next symbol, but apparently they don't want to come out of this bag. They're really oily. I need to wash them. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, looking at this gift card. So, you know, I'm looking at this stuff, and they have, like, the most random assortment of stuff that you can get. I'm a random person. I, I'm random. I mean, you just listen to me for the last 16 minutes. Go on about absolutely nothing. I'm random at times. So, I'm looking... And I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, you know what? Crafts. Maybe they'll have some Ada fabric so that I can, because I'm still new to cross stitch, I'm essentially teaching myself. I don't want to like watch videos on, essentially I'll watch videos if I need, need to know like a term or something like, uh, I know a lot of people hate the term back stitch. And at first I didn't know what it was, so I had to look it up. So I found out what it was. So right now, like I'm making stupid little stuff. Like I made my witch, please. I thought that was just cute and adorable. And since Halloween is my favorite holiday, I mean, it's it's my favorite holiday in the sense of it's my favorite holiday. I got married in October as well. So like this year will be my nine year wedding anniversary. But I didn't want to be like one of those stereotypical people that got married on Halloween because that's, that's just weird. I mean, it's not weird if that's your thing, you know, do you boo boo. But it wasn't for me. So I literally married my husband on the the day I met him, like I met my husband, well, I met him, we were friends for a while. And then when we started dating, we started dating in July, on the 26th of July, actually. I'll have to tell you that story one day. Remind me, I'll tell you. It's a cute little story, sort of. But I, I got married on the 26th of October. So like, I love Halloween stuff, but like, I didn't want to be like, married on Halloween like I'm not I'm not creepy but I like like some weird things like that like oh my god side note again side 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 note a friend of mine's and I were looking on Facebook and she was like I don't even remember where she was looking and if she watches this video Emily you know I'm talking about you it was for a used coffin Please someone explain to me who was going and digging up bodies and selling the coffins. And they actually had it up as used. Like, I, I cannot make this up. Like, it was a used coffin. I'm sitting there and I'm freaked out. But I'm actually kind of, like, laughing because that's just hilarious. Where it's rude and disrespectful and, you know, you don't want to disrespect the dead. And I'm not in any way saying that I'm trying to disrespect the dead or anything. That was just hilarious. Because the ad, like, had the coffin, like, wide open. And it was like, you'll just need to, like, redo the inside. And I'm like, who is selling this stuff? Anyways. So, like, that's, that's, I'm going back to my Amazon story now. Um, so, that's, that, that's, that, every time I mention that to Emily, she starts cracking up and she finds the post for me. So, I'm hoping that if she watches this video today that she will go ahead and find it for me and send it to me or something because that's just hilarious. So yeah, so I'm, I, I like Halloween stuff. So cross stitching right now is just a bunch of Halloween stuff. I'm too, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm afraid. I'm never afraid. I, I never turn down a challenge. I will make the same item 77,000 times if I can't get it right the first time. I will keep making the same item over and over again until I get it right. I've taught myself essentially the basics and all that I know about crochet because my grandma was only able to show me so much before she passed away. So I taught myself the rest. And so, yeah, I couldn't find anything fabric wise on Amazon. And I was mad because, okay, so what am I supposed to use this gift card for? Like I have $50 that 
you want me to essentially buy a bunch of junk. Like it literally was just a bunch of junk in my eyes because I don't, I don't wear makeup. I don't buy clothes online. None of the phone accessories were for my phone. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can buy some diamond painting stuff. No. Okay, maybe I can buy some, you know, more yarn. Well, all the yarn they had was like what I like to call the crap yarn. I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of like super bulk yarn. And they just had a bunch of that. So I'm like, you know what? Bunk it. Maybe I'll order some yarn and do a giveaway. I mean, I have a crochet page, essentially, sort of. Maybe I'll do a giveaway and give away the yarn. And, you know, I want to essentially at some point start doing that. But, you know, in this economy, trying to give stuff away that you have to buy yourself. I'm not rich. I mean, I do well for myself. We do well for ourselves, but we're not rich. Not by a long shot. I'm no, you know, it's one of those things where everybody assumes because, oh, well, your husband works in the oil field. Well, he makes really good money. Don't get me wrong. But we got some bills to pay, too. Like, I'm all about paying the bills, and then you get to play after you pay the bills. But I got we, we're starting to try to save money, which is finding out to be a lot harder than we expected. So we're trying to save money. So, like, I'm not trying to go out and spend, like, millions of dollars or anything. But and look at that. I missed two. Is that number five or number six? Let's see. I can see it better in the camera, actually. I think those are two number. Okay. Are those number fives or number sixes? This is what I mean by the pattern is like janked up. And then if you look over here on the key, now this key is on the, the light and the light is on its highest, highest setting. Do you see, look at my sparkly nail polish. Oh my God, it sparkles. Anyways, sorry, squirrel syndrome. Do you see, you see H? That's a K. What is that? What is that? As my husband calls it, big black square. And then this one, what is that? I would like the company that made this to actually, like, does it say it on here? It doesn't say it on here. It doesn't say the company name. Uh, it just has, like, a product number and stuff. But the company that made this, I would love for them to work on this very same diamond painting and show me which symbol that is because I can't make it out. It looks like, and I have my glasses on. That's the sad part. Like, I actually have my glasses on today, and I still can't see it, so... Sorry about that. That is Daisy. That is Daisy the German Shepherd. Um, when she goes to lay down, she groans. Not sure why. I think she thinks she's a bear. So it always sounds like a bear or some really old man like sitting down and he, she's like she's just had enough of life today or something. We went out this morning, me, my husband and I, to go walk them and she played pretty hard with Killian. And now she's all super tired, so she's letting me know that she's taking a nap, which is fine. And it's weird, because randomly throughout the day, like, I'll be sitting here, and you just hear, and I'm like, is there a monster in here, or is Daisy laying down? Like, what's happening right now? And actually, you know what? I don't even have to. Yes, I do. Sorry, I just spilled beads, so I gotta, like, clean that up later, but. So, yeah, so, you know, look out for possibly a giveaway or something later on. After I get a couple more videos up. Um, this is only my third video. So, yeah. I love diamond painting. It's so nice. I get to, and I have this big open window. And I get to people watch all day. People just walk by all day. And most of the time, you see people walking by with their, their dogs. And of course... If you have German Shepherds or Huskies or one of both like I do, your dog then starts barking at their dog because how dare their dog bark or come walk by their house. Like, it is a hot mess. And every time a dog walks past my house, I'm having to fuss at the dogs and tell them to stop barking, that it's okay, that nobody's coming into their space. It's their space. They're fine. They don't care. But yeah, I get to sit by the nice big window and watch the wind blow on the trees and watch floss tube on the TV. And today I get to contact Diamond Art Club because apparently my shipment has not moved from where it was at two days ago. And it was supposed to have been here yesterday. So already, like I'm I'm a slight I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit irritated. I 
I, I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to, I'm hoping this channel will help me learn patience. Would you guys help me learn patience when it comes to waiting for stuff? Like, like I was laughing. I was talking to uh, Amy over at Creativity by Gidge, and she was saying about how she gets impatient like this too. And she, she ordered a custom and was checking to see if it shipped yet. And she's like, I just ordered it yesterday. And I was like, I do that same thing. Like I'll order something and like an hour later, look to see if it shipped. And I'm like, why aren't you here yet? So I'm hoping you guys can help me learn a little patience because, you know, like I said, with my kids, with my husband, with my life, essentially, for the most part, I am pretty patient. I have all the patience in the world. I used to take pictures of children, like family portraits and stuff. You know how hard it is to take pictures of a baby? So I have patience, but when it comes to like waiting for stuff, like packages, and I, I think it's just because I'm spoiled or something. Like I'm, I have like spoiled brat syndrome. I am not an only child, but I have like spoiled brat syndrome, and it's bad now. It usually it's only towards packages, especially like the ones I have coming. Because I'll forget I ordered packages, and then like they'll show up, and I'm like, yay, packages. And if you heard my rant yesterday about you know USPS and stuff around here, like they're not the best, and they don't treat your package with care. Or any kind of understanding that you spent hard-earned money to buy the image, the item for them to be banging it around like it's a drum. But, uh, yeah. So I'm hoping that I get a surprise and that they just weren't updating their system. And that it actually will show up today. I really want to do the unboxing of it. I really want to get started with it. I'm hoping to have a good portion of this eagle done today. Um, I will be working on this project today since I crocheted yesterday for Hot Mess Wednesday. Usually Wednesday, the, the middle of the week, I'm a hot mess. So I will start labeling each day of the week that I make my videos like something else. Like today will be Talk With Me Thursday. And even though you obviously can't talk with me, you can always leave a nice little comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the video. Because a lot of people have been actually just like messaging me and... I get kind of backwards about it. I'm like, I don't really want to talk about that right now. Like, I don't. And I mean, it's great. I, I've, I'm having a lot more success with doing the videos than I expected. No, I'm not like booming with subscribers or anything like that. But it'll come with time. Like, it's just nice to be able to do them. And essentially, I'm not doing it for the subscribers. It's just nice to be able to do something that I love and show somebody else who could possibly have questions or wonder what it is. It's just nice to be able to do it so that they can see exactly what it's all about. Cause like, I know a friend of mine's, I think she wants to get started with the diamond painting and I, you know, I fully support crafts. It keeps your mind busy, keeps your head busy. I have like anxiety and depression and so like it helps with that because it helps settle my mind I can think clearly when I'm crafting so which is normally why when most people see me I'm either I either have a crochet hook in my hand or this diamond pen because I'm usually crafting all the time and as soon as I finish this last letter I will sign off bid you adieu upload this and then probably continue working on it because I really want to get this done this thing is annoying not that I don't like eagles you know my dad's a vet my dad's a veteran um so is my st my mom and you know thank you for your service and all that fun jazz mom and dad like you know I love you guys thank you for all those who serve in our military present and past you might not agree with what they're doing but the fact that they're willing to be so selfless and give up their time to do that, to defend our country, you have to have some kind of respect for that. And since I come from a military family where most of my family is military, I have nothing but respect for that. So I will proudly do these eagles for my father, whether I like it or not. And hopefully it gets shipped back to him in a better condition that it was shipped to me in because like, that's why you see all the creases in it. Well, you can't see them now, but I'll, the thumbnail of the video will have a picture of it. So you'll see like some creases and stuff like that in it, but it's not too bad. And yes, you are seeing correctly. I am using 
that multi-tool on the back. No, it is not 100% accurate, and it is hard to see past this phone. But I, again, am lazy. I am aware of this. I've come to terms with this. I am, I'm okay with it. I'm just, I'm just okay with it. So yes, I am using that multi-tool on the back. I know a lot of people don't like it, but guess what? You don't have to use it because guess who's doing this? I am. So I will use the multi-tool. It's like uh, Eric Cartman from South Park. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. I, I say that a lot to my kids when they tell me I can't do something. All right, last little funny story. So when we first moved to North Dakota, this is going off the whole doing what I want thing. When we first moved to North Dakota and my husband showed me the apartment that we currently live in, um, my daughter, the house that we live in has two bathrooms. There's one in the master bedroom, which I've never had before. So I was, that was my selling point right there. Like there's a bathroom in my room. I, as, a, as a child, I always wanted that because my parents always had that growing up. And I was like, I want that. Stupid, right? But that's my dream. Don't worry about it. That, that, that's, that's me. But it had a bathroom in the master bedroom. And I was like, all right, I'm sold on it. Well, then the kids also have their own bathroom, which they are in charge of taking care of and everything. And Maggie, little, little Maggie, looks Orion dead in his face and goes, this is my potty. There are many just like it, but this one is mine and you're not allowed to use it. She, of course, lets him use it, but then... I go to use it and she goes, mom, go to your bathroom. This is my bathroom. And with that timer, that tells me that my time is up here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I enjoyed chatting with you. Again, my name is Miss Crochet and Coffee. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you would like to see more content. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.